and welcome back. I'm gonna show you guys my closet today. I recently kind of was just looking at it and reflecting and realized that pretty much everything I own now, almost everything, is thrifted, secondhand, or vintage, and that's freaking huge um, compared to my closet say like a year and a half ago and I'm really happy with like where I've come to and I'm feeling just so much more satisfied in the things that I have and like wear every day and I was kind of thinking back to when I used to shop at fast fashion a lot like you guys know when I first started this if you guys have been around since then like I was doing hauls and stuff from like Zara, H&M, wherever I felt like shopping and I think when I moved out here, I kind of started grasping, like, how big those retailers were, and it just almost made me uncomfortable, realizing, like, the impacts on the environment and things like that. Also, this really is not to, like, shake my finger at anyone who shops fast fashion. That's not it at all, mostly. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I... Personally, I'm really happy with this transition that happened super subtly in my life And I'm really happy with where I've come to just because my style I feel like has evolved so much more I feel a lot more satisfied in the quality and the things that I buy and of course Cutting out fast fashion is helping the environment and I like don't want to take part in something that I don't necessarily agree with but that's just like my personal reasons on why and I am feeling a lot happier this way so if I can inspire any of you guys, that's of course my goal. And I have just like so much more fun styling these pieces too because a lot of the time I'm picking up a lot more fun pieces that I might not wear every day but they're like $2 and then I find like a really nice way to style them, a really fun way. show you guys everything so take a hot second this jacket I've been wearing so much Hannah from the owner of the break vintage actually gave this to me which is so nice of her because she saw how much I loved it um, and I seriously wear it too much like people will comment and I know because it's like such a standout jacket that you probably don't need to wear it all the time but I do it anyway. Love this military liner. I wear it all the time. I will probably buy like a more oversized one because I thought this one was going to be bigger when I got it, but I still like like the size and everything. Here, this was always like a fun piece. I've worn it very rarely and it was only $3 and it's so much fun. I think I wore this on Valentine's Day this year and it was super festive and like finally had the right occasion for it. So I was really into that. I love this top. Um, I just got this off of Depop. I also do so much shopping on Depop, guys. Like, once you find some good sellers, it's really bad. It's super addicting because there's so many cool things on Depop. This is like a halter top, and it's Ralph Lauren. And then it has like an open back that buttons. I just think it's literally the perfect spring top. I know once it's warm here someday, I'm gonna get to wear it a bunch. This is a lovely top. I got this during the winter time at home actually. Also like $2 I think. Just like buttons in the front. I think it's like kind of cute. I think it'll be nice for spring with like maybe some baggy jeans like belted or I don't know yet. These are always solid basic pieces that I like always like try to pick up some basics too. This one's fun. It's really nice for laying, like, layering under things and I don't know, just very nice um, spring piece too because it's kind of like a good transitional piece. What else? These pants are my favorite. These I spent like $20 on. Super worth it though. 
from the break. Just like stretchy pantaloons, which I can't go wrong with, that are wide leg. I like only wear wide leg pants, I think. I think I actually, I don't really shop at Beacon's Closet that much, but I bought this one at Beacon's Closet. It's super cute, lacy, like top. I love wearing this like going out. It's so cute. I think I probably paid like $15 for that. My girl Liz Claiborne. I like throw so many things that are Liz Claiborne. Just like a silky top. All of these are just, I just feel like I have so much more fun like with my clothes now than I ever did and it's become way more of a form of expression instead of just wearing like what's trendy at the moment which I think has been really cool like realizing that because I, I was just like so involved in like being on trend before. Not that I ever like thought like that, but it's subconsciously like I would buy the things that were trendy. This one's great. Just like a classic wrap top. I love wrap tops. I think they're really fun. Um, and jeans, like every pair of jeans I ever wear are basically from the thrift store for sure. It's like always good when you find a pair of vintage Levi's. I buy so many button downs. I love button downs. They're probably my favorite piece to wear. This one's super cute for spring. It's definitely like dad vibes, but I like that for sure. This is cool. I didn't wear this enough last summer and I think I'll definitely bring it out this. It's like this cropped like very preppy little polo. I feel like my biggest transition was once I moved to New York I started feeling like a lot more interested in it especially like being firsthand and like seeing a lot of the fast fashion retailers that it almost like turned me off of them being here because I'd never really been around like stores that much because my hometown is very small and then I went home and that's like when I think it clicked of just like buying a lot of pieces. I felt like more like myself, I think. And I was able to go home where I got like, I think 30 pieces for maybe like $60, which is insane. So I had like kind of this whole new wardrobe. I had so much to work with and literally spent the same amount of money I might have spent on like one top, which is crazy. And from there, it just kind of like took off. I feel like the more you learn to like, incorporate the pieces into your wardrobe already almost like the change comes from when you find like that one piece that you really like and then you feel kind of awoke to all of the possibilities that you can have thrifting and finding really cool stuff tips i would have for thrifting are like don't get discouraged for one if you go in sometimes i go in thrift stores and i don't find like anything that i want and if you're like have access to very cheap thrift stores like goodwills or like local I definitely would recommend going there because that's where I feel like I find the most like hidden gems at and they're really inexpensive. But I would say like go with someone if you have friends that want to go as well because I always feel kind of overwhelmed when I go by myself too because you kind of want someone to like bounce ideas off of and like show them stuff. It's just like more fun if you go with someone. Sometimes I bought things that I thought I liked and ended up never wearing them and like gave them right back which is fine like it's fine to buy stuff and like see if it's you or not and like the more you do that you're gonna find pieces that actually feel like you and I also would say starting slow I would go and just find a few pieces and then once I got more into it it just becomes easier I think um, you get like a better grip of like what you actually end up wearing and stuff like that and yeah it definitely just gets easier with time but I think it's just daunting like the idea of having to go in somewhere and like pick out out of so many things like that's why retail stores are organized so nicely to make you feel less overwhelmed and a lot of thrift and goodwill stores and like secondhand aren't like that at all so I totally understand that but that's I think goes along with the way buying secondhand makes your wardrobe a lot more unique to you because you might go in with someone who might like the same top from like Zara as you but you might go into a thrift store and pick out completely different things which I think is so cool but yeah hopefully this helps some of you guys I know I'm definitely rambling a little bit but I just wanted to make this because overall I'm so much happier with my wardrobe, I went back and looked at all of this money I've spent over the years on like fast fashion places of like things I was just buying because I thought I needed them and I just did not need them and if I would have spent all that money on other things, I feel like I would have been a lot happier 
and so I'm just like want to share that with you guys so like style wise my style I know you guys comment this a lot but my style for the most part has like completely transformed and I feel so much more like myself when I get dressed now which is really cool hopefully this will like inspire some of you guys to thrift more and find special pieces and shop at fast fashion less again no judgments not judging you or anyone because I clearly took part in fast fashion for a very long time but yeah I don't know if you guys have any questions or comments or anything or found this helpful I'd love to hear in the comments below and I'll see you guys next week